Da na 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 na. What's up, you guys? This is Twenty Two Tiger Dude here with your wizard Harry. Um, <laughs> WWE fan O five nine nine. And as you can see, WWE fan O five nine nine and I, we just finished talking about the Suicide Squad trailer that debuted on the MTV Movie Awards, and now we're going to be talking about officially the first full trailer for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, which debuted towards the end of the MTV Movie Awards, and I did get to watch the trailer from there. You know, after seeing Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, we all know that it takes place 70 years before the events of the Harry Potter films. And honestly, if you guys saw the video WWE fan and I actually did for Top 10 Anticipated Movies of 2016, um, Fantastic Beasts was actually my number three spot. Yeah, even though I didn't have any trailers at that time, I still put in my number three spot just because I enjoy the Harry Potter film so much. And with David Yates coming back to direct this one, who directed both, of the Deathly Hollows Harry Potter films, so it's cool to get a returning director retur uh, to direct a Harry Potter universe movie. This trailer is awesome. But before I get more into it, I want to hear WWE fans' thoughts on this. I thought nothing would beat the Suicide Squad Bohemian Rhapsody trailer for the best trailer of the year so far. Right. I just found it like this was magnificent. Like. I could not believe what I saw after I saw this trail, honestly. Yeah. I'm like, this is, like, the wizarding world. This is the wizarding world. Like, I I just got giddy after seeing it, you know what I mean? Oh, I yeah. I just kept on watching it over and over and over again because I'm like, you know, I have worries. I'm not going to lie. I right. have worries about this spin-off because I was like, uh, it's kind of too, I was like, I was one of those people, I was like, it's kind of too soon, we just, you know, we just had the ending to the Harry Potter series, I feel like they should have waited a little bit longer, Right. then I immediately slapped myself in the face after seeing <laughs> this trailer, because I was like, holy moly, this looks incredible, and it just looks magical, not, no pun intended, but just magical, it really does. Oh yeah, and that ties into what you said in our Suicide Squad trailer review, where you said you're just going to have to find out what my favorite trailer of the year is. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I have to agree with him honestly, because I really enjoy the Harry Potter films, uh, they're great movies, and I love what I saw in this trailer. You know, you actually get a mention of Dumbledore, I actually like that. You got a mention of Hogwarts, uh, but this does take place in New York. We see Eddie Redmayne, who I believe plays a character named Newt. Yeah, I think the character's name is Newt. You see Dan Fogler in a couple scenes in which it's been a while since I've seen Dan Fogler, so it's going to be cool to see him in the movie again. Really, just to describe this trailer, there's a lot of really cool shots. You get magic and just wonders, and then when you hear the Harry Potter score, Oh, oh, oh. You know, the best thing about this entire trailer is oh, the yes. song they start playing towards the end. Yeah, once they I'm played the Harry Potter score. The Harry Potter song. I'm talking about like when we're getting near the end of the trailer, where it's going like dun dun. I was like, that is incredible. Like when they like when they showed the title. Yes. Oh man, that was great. Like when it went guang 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 guang. guang. Whoa. Like it was just so quiet, and that showed that final shot with um, Newt going inside his oh, briefcase. Like, peace out, like, peace out. <laughs> and he's all like, "Come with me!" And then Dan Fogler points himself, going, "Me?" <laughs> like, he, like that's not something you see every day. Someone just walking into a suitcase. Oh yeah, and Colin Farrell is in this movie, which is really cool because. Oh, you actually get to see a little bit of him. Like it's just one shot, but you do see him like doing magic as well, which is cool. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's all I have to talk about, honestly, in this trailer. I think it's very well shot. I'm glad David Yates, who directed Death in the House Part of Part One and Two, he he has two films this year actually. He has The Legend of Tarzan and he has Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So that's cool for David Yates. Seeing how he handled the Deathly Hollows movies, I have a lot of faith he'll do a great job with Fantastic Beasts. He really understands this world. Like WWE fans 
said this looks like it's going to be a magical movie. We have a great cast in this film, like with Eddie Redmayne, with Colin Farrell, with um, Dan Fogler. You know, it's going to be very interesting to see this world 70 years before we got to see Harry Potter. So those are my thoughts on Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Anything else you have to say, WWE fan, about this trailer? Uh, I've pretty much said everything I had to say. This is my favorite trailer of the year so far. Um, this was just incredible. I could not believe what I saw after I saw it for the first time. I was just like, I'm ready now. Like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go back. I'm ready to go back to the wizarding world. I'm oh, ready. yeah. Oh yeah, and, I, and that's another thing, I'm glad you reminded me about that. I love how the trailer says, J.K. Rowling's invites you to a new era of the wizarding world. I don't know why it said new era, since this like takes place seven years before the <laughs> that's, that's true, that's true, that's a good point. Those are our thoughts on the trailer. This is actually my favorite out of all the trailers that the MTV Movie Awards showed. I was blown away, and just like WWE fan, I couldn't stop watching the trailer. I watched it over and over again. So comment down below, you guys. What did you think about the trailer for Fantastic Beasts and where to find them? Are you ready to be back in the Wizarding World? And just like what I asked you in the Suicide Squad trailer, since this debuted in the MTV Movie Awards, what did you think of the MTV Movie Awards? Did you think The Rock and Kevin Hart did a great job as hosts? Did you like the Leo got yep. fucked by a bear song? <laughs> Let me know. Yep, Samoan Superman and the Dark Chocolate Knight. Ugh. So thank you so much for watching you guys. Um, check out WWE Fans channel. Link will be in the description down below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here. Spelliosa. <laughs> WWE Channel 599. And don't forget that I'll always have Tiger Power. <laughs> <laughs>